Hello, hello, happy Friday. It's Friday. Ready for my Friday video? I'm Stephanie. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my sewing room. Welcome to Friday Sews. A little sewing, a little life, whatever. Anything goes on Friday. So if you're here for it, that's what we're going to do. Anything. I'm not really sure exactly what's going to happen because I never ever really know, honestly, because things just kind of pop up. Does that happen to you? It happens to me all the time. Sometimes it's good and sometimes that's not good. I like to start with sewing and I promised this last week because I knew I was working on this skirt that I'm wearing, um, which is Simplicity 8474. I think this might be my third or fourth week talking about this one pattern, but you know what? It's a whole different skirt. View three. <laughs> These numbers on this one, three. It's got this little overlay and it's short. Uh, it's a short turn, you know, short. This was, was really long and this one's short above the knee. Now, I'm going to show you me wearing it, which you've already seen because you saw the thumbnail. Okay, I made this top to go with this skirt that I'm going to show you. And the reason I'm showing you the top of these pants is because I feel good in this top. I don't feel like it makes me look fat. So when you see the skirt, you're going to blame the shirt. Don't blame the shirt. It's the skirt. Okay, here it is. And well, I don't know. Now that I have it on, I don't hate it as much as I did. I just feel like it's too voluminous. I say that a lot, don't I? I don't want voluminous. Um, so basically, this is an overlay. So what would it look like without it? Let's just check. I like it better without the overlay. The overlay is so much. Maybe that's the answer, is to take off the feature. Or... Maybe just make it less peplumy. How about if it was like that? Instead of like that. That might help. Or if this was just gone, that would be a cuter skirt. I'm gonna play with this. I'm gonna pin it a few different ways. And um, I might leave it and see if I wear it. Or I might shorten it just a tiny bit like shorten it to there maybe that would help and shorten the overlay definitely if it's going to be a summer alternative to shorts then it shouldn't be that long it should probably be right about there I mean if you're going to wear shorts you're going to wear them way up here and I don't want to skirt that short but I wouldn't mind it right there so it needs to be more summery I'll have shorts on underneath. So a couple of different options. We'll play and see what we come up with. Well, I like it way better. All I did was make it shorter by three inches. It's much more summery. I shortened the peplum as well. And let me show you, I, I didn't shorten the peplum in the back. Hold on a second. Oh yeah, it needs that shorter peplum. It's so cute. This is the regular length. So let me put it back. I would wear this. Cute with flip-flops, tennis shoes. I love the peplum. I love everything about it. it. Doesn't It's not too voluminous. It was just too long. Okay, so I'm gonna shorten it. I used the machine rolled hem on all of it. So I'm just going to mark it and re-hem it using my serger. And then I have another summer outfit. Yay. I love these colors. I made it shorter and that fixed pretty much everything. Um, but I also did, um, I didn't like my waistband since I, it's a yoga waistband. I knew I wanted it a little tighter. It's such a, it's such a fine line between too loose and too tight. <laughs> So since I was messing with the skirt anyways, I took the waistband off and I thought, well, I've got the waistband off. I think I'll bring the skirt in a little. So I took it in a little on the sides and I don't know that I even measured it. 
So I'm going to have to relook at that again when I make this again. And I probably will because this is a really comfy skirt. It's cute. So the overlay, I made it a little more narrow. I definitely made it shorter. And since my waistband was a little more narrow, the overlay went all the way around and overlapped a tiny bit, which is way better than how it had a gap about that big before because the skirt was fuller. Um, I think I'd like to make this skirt for so long because it's so easy, you guys. And it might be fun for some beginners to see how easy this skirt is to put together because it's really cute. But it turned out really cute, didn't it? I mean, one of my problems with this skirt, and I will tell you right now, is I don't like white. I don't like to wear white. And I've learned the hard way that even a white background all with floral or prints is still white. And I don't like white. It just, um, white makes you bigger. Black makes you smaller. That's why we like black. Black makes you look smaller. White makes you look bigger. It just is. So... I don't like to wear white. Also, we have a lot of iron in our water and whites just don't stay white here <laughs> very well. Even though I have like everything, like I've got the, you know, the filter on my pump and you know, all that stuff. It's still, the, the whites just don't stay white here. And um, I don't like white anyway, so who cares? So that's probably part of why I don't like the skirt. I really would like to make this skirt in a color that's not white and see what happens. But I love this fabric. It's super springy and super fun. I will wear this with flip-flops and tennis shoes. It's going to be a go-to this summer. Super comfy. So that's this. And I don't think I'm going to make the high-low. I don't like high-lows. It's where the hem is shorter in the front and longer in the back. I don't know who invented that. I'm not a super big fan of that for the most part. I don't think I have any favorites that I wear that's that. I'm wearing also... A tried and true Butterick 6848 tank top v-neck um I think after filming this and showing it to you I think I still want to shorten this top because I'm kind of on a kick of shortening tops I shortened um tops last week and it was such a difference that now I want to like I went in my closet and pulled out all my all my tops and see which ones need to be shortened because it made a big difference uh, so we we all have to find our sweet spot for hemming dresses, skirts, pants, and tops. And I think that I have a few that could be shorter. It was funny because I was I was down there pulling stuff out of my closet and thinking I need to hem a few of these. And I was wearing one that I thought I needed to hem. And I looked in the mirror and I'm like, this looks fine. This looks good. And then I looked down and I realized I had folded it under to look and see what it would look like shorter. <laughs> yeah, way better. <laughs> So it wasn't really done. It was just folded because I was looking at it. So, you know, revisit your closet. You never know what's in there that could be better. And on that thought, I was looking at a couple of dresses that I don't wear from last year, maybe the year before. Um, there's two of them I never even showed you. I didn't like them. I showed you one that I do like and two that I didn't. So I've already taken apart one of those two and turned it into a top and a skirt. I haven't shown the top anywhere, but I showed the skirt on my Instagram page. I don't know. I just got it in my mind that we could do this together on my Instagram page. And I showed the whole process in my stories and I made a little short of it. They call it a short on YouTube and a short is one minute. This video will probably be 17 to 20 minutes somewhere in there. Uh, so one minute not very long and no you don't make anything in one minute you just show the gist of it there were details that I did not show right little things you're gonna say how did you do this what how long is that what what did you do here you're gonna wonder I would wonder so um, the second dress that I want to do the same thing I want to take it apart just like I did if you want to know what that is go look at my shorts because I've only done one two two maybe uh, anywho you'll see the process of turning that into a skirt where there's also a top too because I, I saved the top. I'll show it next week. I'll show it. And so I'm going to make a video showing how I took that apart and turned it into a skirt and a top. At least that's a plan. So that's kind of my next project is there was some fabric that I loved and I felt like this dress worked with the black that it would work with this fabric that I loved and I made the dress and it's wasted. I mean, that fabric was expensive. It was beautiful. And I won't wear that dress. I don't like it. So I'm going to turn it into a skirt and a top. And I hope I do wear it because that would be fun. 
So that's my next project that I'm working on. I already know because I kind of have it in my head. Uh, so what did you think of that short? <laughs> you know what? It took, it, I was like obsessed with it. It took me a little minute there to get it all cranked into a short. I saved a little bit longer clips in my Instagram stories and the way I saved it was in the little highlight that said my my sewing or my makes I'm not sure what it said but you have to go through all the posts of the things I've made to get to the skirt which is at the end does that make sense you kind of have to be an Instagrammer to figure out what I'm talking about and Facebook doesn't have that feature of saving um, so that you can look at somebody else's stories they they just don't have it so Instagram is the only place you can really see those clips except for the one minute version on YouTube okay I've talked about that enough if we're not already following each other on Instagram and Facebook come find me because I'm posting the greenhouse really that's my obsession this week because finally so hubby and I were gonna do it on Thursday Friday then Thursday Friday he had something Saturday he had something I can't, you know, take him away from work. We need him to make money. That's how we live. <laughs> so Monday, Tuesday, we spent the day, most of the day, not the heat of the day, but most of the day working on the greenhouse. And oh my gosh, you guys, the very first, so you lay this baseboard, and then you patch this pose and this pose and this pose and this pose, and then you slip this panel in and we're looking and we're like, well, how do we screw this panel down? Well, all the screw holes were down low where the panel was up high and I'm like we put in this base piece backwards it's upside down we just need to flip it <laughs> and my husband's all flip it <laughs> this whole front wall is done but you know what he took out the screws we flipped it everything screwed fine and so we're going along and then these two posts it happened again <laughs> they were in backwards they just need to be flipped and so we kind of just calmed our little selves down and thought, well, you know what? We've already fixed two big major problems right at the beginning. How are, this is going to take however long it takes, and we're going to undo however much we have to undo. I was telling hubby, I was like, this is like sewing. I'm the best person at undoing than anybody because I have made so many mistakes. I know how to undo pretty much anything. And he looked at me funny. I go, like that T-shirt you're wearing, I could take that whole thing apart. I could take the whole thing apart and have all the pieces. That's how that I'm good at undoing. <laughs> so that's what we were good at undoing. Uh, I'm happy to report that we really did not so far make any major bungles like that. We started really looking at moving ahead a couple pages. What are we What are we going to be doing? And where do these little screw holes need to be? And how do we know this is right side or inside or whatever? And um, I'm just going to show you where we're at because it's really looking good. So. Early morning, working on the roof. This is the last of it. And then we start building the shelves and then we put in the door. It's already getting hot. So we did the early morning and we'll do the late evening. Isn't this cool? But we are having fun. May I just say, we are having fun. It's like we're so different, him and I, in the way that we think. And he's the plodder, you know, taking his time getting it perfect, driving me crazy, because I'm more, charge, just do it. I'm like, we don't need no stinking instructions. <laughs> no, I know we need the instructions, but I'm kind of like that. Like most things, I don't read the book, I don't read the manual, I don't read, it. yeah. So we balance each other really well. And uh, he'll slow me down and fix things, and I will speed him up and make things happen. Like that's how it works. So anything that was meticulous that I could ruin or make crooked, he did uh, happily. Because I I know, I know if it's gotta be straight or perfect or fitted, uh, it's not me, not me. But 
the big picture is me. Learn, figuring out that that board needed to be flipped, that was me. Figuring out those two posts need to be flipped, that was me. He's like, he's like freaking out. Like he didn't know what to do. But I'm like, it just needs to be flipped. And he's like, flipped? Like that was the biggest deal and it wasn't. So we balance each other out really nicely. And I was the one like uh, gathering up all the materials and just like handing them to him. So all he had to do was just do the steps. And um, we made a really good team. We still have the roof to go. And that I think is where some of the most complicated parts are to the greenhouse because it has an automatic window that goes up and down according to the heat. And I've seen on several vi videos, YouTube videos that people have broken that. <laughs> and I don't want to bro break it. So we're going to be super careful and cautious and um we had fun uh the the thing hubby hubby is so funny so he uh he said that the instructions we started in the evening <laughs> the day that we started and he started with a margarita and he said that that should be in the instructions that you have a margarita because we were both much happier after our margarita and then we just went right into the plans <laughs> uh, okay so that is getting close to being absolutely finished and I'm just over the moon about it I'm over the moon about it and then there's gonna be a cleanup period because there's just stuff everywhere but that's kind of what I've been doing that's like what I've been doing is the greenhouse don't look out that window it's full of weeds we're not doing anything everything's on hold until we get this greenhouse up and I'm really excited about it my daughter's anniversary is this Friday and um, I don't remember how many years they've been married. They got married in 08, however many years that is. And it's kind of the anniversary to fixing up our yard because before that, there was we really didn't put any effort into our outside at all. We were just busy raising kids and I don't know, I'm not a gardener, I don't really care and it's pretty here anyways. Mother nature decorates nicely. Trees, we live in the forest, it's trees, it's nice. So for the wedding, I said to her, um, I, I wanted to pay for her wedding. I wanted me and me and dad to pay for her wedding. So we gave her a tiny, teeny tiny little budget and she stuck with it. And I said, I don't really want to pay for a venue when I could put that money into my yard. And she, her first question was, does that come out of my budget? And I said, nope, nope, it won't come out of your budget. So she's like, okay. So I mean to tell you, I may have worked that angle to get things I always wanted. It's the year we built our deck. It's the year we got gravel in our driveway for the first time. Oh my gosh, we'd lived here for so long with this road-based driveway that was just always muddy and dusty. And we did this pea gravel all up and down the driveway and we have no grass. It's just shady side of the hill. So we did pea gravel in the upper area. We bought some, um, furniture from Kmart. We bought the, the first time we bought the dining tent. We've been through several of those. The first time we had deck furniture, we've had several of those. I uh, actually have all of them. They're just, I keep moving them. <laughs> so if I get new furniture, I just make another little setting somewhere else. And um, hubby likes to call them grottos because there was this Frasier. Remember that show Frasier with Niles and Frasier? And they were in this spa and they wanted to go to the nicer grotto. And the grottos were like, gold grotto silver grotto and they couldn't get into the platinum grotto and we call our deck sitting the platinum grotto because it's that nice and so he's like well we need to name these other areas so we've got we've decided this year oh, we're going to call the platinum grotto is the deck and the waterfall grotto is where our furniture we was on the deck we moved it up to the waterfall and then our dining tent is the dining grotto and then I don't know what we're going to call the greenhouse. I'm calling it the greenhouse palace because hubby's went way overboard. But it is going to be fun. So we are just really enjoying, you know, the home aspect. And it all started with my daughter's wedding, which was just one of her and my favorite days ever. We just put so much into that wedding and it was so beautiful. It was so fun. So lovely. Just a great day. Just a beautiful day that I will never forget and I loved it and it was fun we had a lot of fun so uh, I'll see if I can find a couple of those pictures I mean really <laughs> as technology changes so does how you find pictures I don't know how to find stuff now that everything's digital and it's changed this old digital to newer digital newer newer, newer. Now, now everything's on our phone and if your phone dies 
what do you have? No pictures for the last few years? <laughs> That's kind of where we're at. Uh, it's funny how, I mean, a whole nother subject, but photo albums are done, man. What happened to those? We used to all have them to share with our kids when they grew up. Now what are they going to look at? These kids now. There's no photo albums. Eek. So, I should have a finished greenhouse to show you next week. Okay, I'm putting it out there. Maybe. I'm hoping. So, uh, then I'll probably stop talking about it, or maybe I'll talk about it more. Because <laughs> it's going to be so awesome. You know what I was thinking? It felt like, oh, hubby, when he was little, him and his brother wanted to play Army. Army. They had G.I. Joe. They played camping. They played Army. Well, I played house. I played dolls. I played mommy and daddy. Going to the store. Fixing dinner. <laughs> That's what I played. And this greenhouse feels like a dollhouse. It feels like a playhouse. It's a, it's a grown woman's playhouse. That's what it really is. Says my trailer. <laughs> so we're just reliving our childhood everywhere, right? <laughs> All right, I've yacked long enough. I have stuff to do, including getting this video ready for you to watch. So I thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by and watching my channel. Please subscribe. It helps me with YouTube to show to other people if you're subscribed rather than just viewing. And if you hit the, um, the little um, bell to get the notifications, that helps even more. And I love the comments. I love visiting with you so much. Thank you so much for every comment. I really appreciate it. And I will see you next time if I don't see you sooner on Instagram and Facebook. You take care. Have a great weekend. Bye now.